Hi, these comments are for Isaac, and this is Michael from BetterTofelScores.com, and I am listening to a speaking practice test that you sent me, I think it was uh, yesterday, right? So, no, this is uh, integrated speaking. Let me get the rubrics all set up here. Okay, here we go. I'm looking at the rubrics here. Let's take a look at your email first. You say, thanks for the feedback. It was very interesting to hear what you said. Consider that my test is on Thursday. I'll try to send you a full rehearse. You want to say full rehearsal tomorrow. Don't do that. I can only score one practice test on any given day. I just don't have enough time. You say, in the meantime, please assess this one. I've been working on my intonation. All right, let's see how you're doing. So do not send me for speaking practice test. There's no way. I have private tutoring. If you want to do that, you, you can do that. We can do a whole bunch of things in an hour. That's a whole nother service, but not with the service that you have right now. Okay, so let's get to your speaking. In this letter, a student proposes that the university should build a new art museum on campus. By this, students will have access to high-quality art. Okay. Moreover, he proposes that the university should pay for this uh, art museum using... Should pay. You need to pronounce that P with more aspiration. Donations. However, the student in the conversation had a negative opinion about this proposal. Okay, let's see what you said. Let me look at your grammar yes. here. Uh, art museum using student's donations. However, the student in the conversation had a negative opinion about this proposal. The student has a different opinion about the proposal. So it sounds like you're saying half, right? But you have student has. He explains that the students already have different benefits in the local museum, including free transportation from campus to the museum. Moreover, they have free access on Mondays. In addition, he explains that this museum has different... That these are this. This museum. So be careful of those two vowel sounds. You have meet, met. You have this, these. This, these. Exhibitions of famous painters. So the argument of his mate is not valid. Finally, he explains that the university is investing the... Uh, the argument that he made or the argument he makes? I would probably say makes. Students' donations in, dif in different facilities. In and the, the argument he makes is not valid according to the speaker. In the library and the student center. So the argument of his classmate to invest this money in the, in the museum is not valid. According to the man, or overall, the man thinks the argument being presented in the reading passage is not valid. So make sure that we know who is saying this information. You're not saying that the argument is not valid, correct? You're saying that the speaker claims that the argument is not valid. So make sure that you connect everything to the right source so we know who is saying what, and that's what a summary is. So you can probably do a little bit better with your topic development. Uh, I think you had some minor problems with subject verb agreement and also you did have some continuing problems with uh, your intonation which also affected I think what I call pacing it's also in my website I call it thought groups and blending so what do you do uh, if if your test is on Thursday which is tomorrow or no which is in two days from now right so I, I think right now what I would do is just review. You don't want to try to do too much and burn your brain out. But I would go to my, my online TOEFL course and study the independent and integrated speaking strategies lesson. Study both of those lessons and then make sure that you have a, some type of template or structure that you can use to help you organize your responses on Thursday. Remember that you need to create your own templates. Don't use mine or anybody else's. You, you can look at mine as a guide or you can go to TOEFLresources.com if you want. You can see some ideas there. But don't just copy our templates, right? You need to come up with your own structures of how you want to answer the questions and then do that accordingly. So good luck on Thursday. Uh, 
remember, if I listen to an integrated speaking task, whatever problems you might be having here, then you'll probably have similar problems in other speaking tasks. So it, it, it's really not that productive, believe it or not, to have me score four of your practice tests when I can do them daily anyway. You, so, you just want to make sure that you're, you're completing practice tests daily. You get feedback daily. And if you do, that, if you do this over a month or two, you will get used to what your problems are and you will minimize and maybe even eliminate those issues. Okay, your score here, going back to the rubrics, let me take a look. Actually, let me listen to it one more time, then I'll give you a score. In this letter, a student proposes that the university should build a new art museum on campus. By this, students will have access to high quality art. Moreover, he proposes that the university should pay for this uh, art museum using students' donations. However, the student in the conversation had a negative opinion about this proposal. He explains that the students already have different benefits in the local museum, including free transportation from campus to the museum. Moreover, they have free access on Mondays. In addition, he explains that this museum has different exhibitions of famous painters, so the argument of his mate is not valid. Finally, he explains that the university is investing the um, students' donations in, dif in different facilities, including okay. the library and the student center. So the argument of his classmate to invest this money in the, in the museum is not valid. Okay, so uh, I'm going to put you at three. I'm going to say 3.0 out of four, uh, 23 points out of 30. So you do have some pronunciation, intonation, and pacing issues, and it does require effort to understand what you're saying. However, overall intelligibility remains good. It's still pretty easy to understand what you're saying. So just because of delivery, you're just not where you need to be yet, at least if you want to get 26. I don't think you're where you need to be yet. So your score here is 23 points out of 30.